Hi students, so welcome back to my class and you're here at the Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about adding rational expressions with different denominator. Alright, so for for example, we had add each of the following. So for number one, we have one fourth plus two fifth. So they have different denominator. So first is to get the LCD or the least common denominator. So what is the least common denominator of 4 and 5? So the LCD or the least common denominator of 4 and 5 is 20. Because 4 can divide 20 and also 5 can divide 20. Okay, next step. So 20 divided by 4 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. Okay, so this is plus, so just write plus. Next, 20 divided by 5 is 4 times 2, so we have 8. Okay, next, 5 plus 8 is 13. 13 over 20. Since we can um, simplify 13 over 20, so our final answer in number 1 is 13 over 20. In number 2, so we have 3 over 7 plus 1 half. Again, we need to get the least common denominator. So our least common denominator in number 2 is 14. Because 7 can divide 14 and 2 can divide 14. So next, 14 divided by 7 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so this is plus. So just write plus here. Next is 14 divided by 2 is 7. So 7 times 1 is 7. Okay. So now, let's perform the operation. So since we have addition here, so let's get the sum of 6 and 7. So 6 plus 7 is 13 over 14. Since we cannot simplify 13 over 14, so the final answer in number 2 is 13 over 14. Okay, for number 3, we have 3, 3 over 2a plus 1 over 6a. So let's first um, find the least common denominator. So we have 6a because 2a can divide 6a and 6a can also divide 6a. So 6a divided by 2a is 3. Okay? Because a divided by 1. So we don't need to write 1. Now 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Next, this is plus. So, write plus here. Next, 6a divided by 6a is 1 because they, ha they are the same. So, 1 times 1 is 1. Now, let's perform the operation. So, 9 plus 1 is 10. So, 10 over 6a. Since we can um, simplify 10 over 60. So, what are the factors of 10? So, we have 2 times 5. And then, in our de denominator, the factors of 6a is, uh, is 2 times 3 times a. Okay? So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, that is cancelled. So, our final answer or the simplified form of 10 over 6a is... 5 over 3a. So, this is our final answer. So, 5 over 3a. What about in number 4? So, in number 4, we have um, 2 over x plus 9 over y. So, they also have this different denominator. So, what are or what is the least common denominator of x and y? Okay? So, we have x y. Now, x, y divided by x is y. x 
divided by x is 1, so we don't need to write the 1. That's why we have y, okay? So, again, x, y divided by x is y times 2, so we have 2y. Next, we have plus here, so let's, let's have plus. Next, uh, xy divided by y is x. Since y divided by y is 1, so we don't need we don't need to write 1, so we have x. x times 9 is 9x. Okay? So next, um, since we cannot simplify 2y plus 9 over xy, so our final answer in number 4 is 2y plus 9x over xy. In our last example, for number 5, we have 1 over x plus 3 plus 5 over x plus 2. So, again, they have the different um, denominator. So, let's find the LCD of x plus 3 and x plus 2. So, we have x plus 3 and x plus 2. Next, let's divide. So, x plus 3 times x plus 2 divided by x plus 3. So, it's just like this. So, x plus 3 and then x plus 2, okay? Divide by x plus 3, alright? So, this since they, have, they are the same, so x plus 3 times x plus 2 over x plus 3 is equal to x plus 2. So, x plus 2 times 1 is x plus 2. Okay, and next, um, we have this one again. So, x plus 3 times x plus 2 divide by, okay, divide by x plus 2. Again, since x plus 2 is the same with x plus 2, so that is 1. So, our answer here is x plus plus 3. So, now, x plus 3 times 5 is, so we have plus, so write plus here. Okay, x plus 3 times 5, so we have 5 times x plus 3. Okay, we will perform the operation later. Okay, so we have 5 times x plus 3. Next, perform the operation. So, we have here x plus 2, okay, plus 5 times x is 5x 5, 5 times 3 plus 15 okay so write x plus 3 times x plus 2 okay since x plus 2 and x plus 2 is the same so they are cancelled now here our answer is 5 times oh, 5x plus 15 over x plus 3. Now, we can simplify 5x plus 15 over x plus 3. Because, let's find first the factors of x plus 5 and 15. So, we have 5. Right? So, now, 5x divided by 5 is x. Plus, 15 divided by 5 is 3 over x plus 3. Since x plus 3 is the same with x plus 3, so our final answer here is 5. Alright, and that's how we end our lesson for today. If you have more questions, so please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. That's it. Bye-bye!